China is casting the net wide with the new national security law. Article 38 of the law says that it applies to non-residents of Hong Kong as well as crimes committed outside the region. This puts thousands of foreign nationals who travel to Hong Kong, including Indians, at risk. According to the Indian government, there are close to 38,000 NRIs and people of Indian origin living in Hong Kong. Now, this controversial law applies to each and every one of them. The vague definition of the law, combined with the ongoing India-China tensions, make them possible targets. Hong Kong's position as Asia's financial hub is also under threat. In 2018, Hong Kong's bilateral trade with India stood at $29 billion. Hong Kong is India's fifth largest trading partner. But as China slowly dismantles the one country, two systems arrangement, Hong Kong's reputation as free trade hub is waning. In all likelihood, this law is here to stay. So if you are planning to travel to Hong Kong after the lifting of flight restrictions, here are a few things you should know about. The law applies to all foreign institutions and corporations. So traveling to Hong Kong for business purposes or running business operations from the city is a very risky affair. Since Beijing has vast powers in interpreting the law, foreign nationals can be detained and extradited to mainland China. And many multinational companies are planning to wind up operations in Hong Kong. They do not want to be a part of the local politics. The term foreign interference is vaguely defined in the law. Corporate executives who have criticized China in the past will definitely be risking detention by visiting the city in the future. Countries have already started warning their citizens residing in Hong Kong. Canada said that it is citizens that could be at risk of arbitrary detention, especially due to the ongoing diplomatic tussle between the two countries. Taiwan has warned its citizens against traveling to Hong Kong. So has the U.S., Beijing could very well use this law to target Indian businesses and citizens to fuel tensions with New Delhi.